Hi, I'm Sunitra Chaudhary, political editor of Hindustan Times, and I am thrilled to be a part of this initiative with Juggernaut Books called One Story, One India. As part of it, I'll be reading from Tagore's classic Kabuliwala. This story and reading from it at this time is so, so relevant because I'm reading to you from my home. And just like the narrator talks about how he imagines Afghanistan and the land that the protagonist, the Kabuliwala, must be from just by meeting him, that's something I think we are all doing today. Uh, we are all locked up in our homes and books and literature are only things that we have to transport us to different places, different lands. The second thing that this story highlights, for me at least, is just the value of friendship and love. The unlikely friendship between this little girl and this man who goes door to door selling dry fruits but strikes up a friendship with her. And also the friendship and bond that is struck between the father of this little girl and this man who is a stranger who seems intimidating, who's just been released from jail for homicide this unlikely kind of bond because they realize that they both love their daughters. So here goes, I'm just going to read uh, this. A few days later, about to leave the house on an errand, I discovered my daughter seated on the bench next to the front door, chattering away to the Kabuliwala who sat at her feet, listening smilingly and occasionally saying something in broken Bengali. Mini had never encountered such an attentive listener in the five years of her life besides her father. I even found nuts and raisins bundled into the archal of her tiny sari. Why have you given her all this? I asked the Kabuliwala. Don't do it again. Taking an eight anna coin out of my pocket, I handed it to him. He accepted it without demur, putting it in his bag. I returned home to find the eight anna coin at the heart of a hundred rupees worth of trouble. Holding a circular silvery object in her hand, Mini's mother was asking her daughter disapprovingly, where did you get this? The Kabuliwala gave it to me, Mimi told her. Why did you have to take it from him? Mini's mother inquired. I didn't want to. He gave it on his own, Mini said, on the verge of tears. I rescued Mini from imminent danger and took her outside. There I learned that it wasn't as though this was only Mini's second meeting with Rehmat the Kabuliwala. He had been coming to see her almost every day, bribing her with almonds and raisins to conquer her tiny, greedy five-year-old heart.